Through this door, in this small room, analysts at cybertip.ca are chasing down sexual predators. This is essentially the team that is receiving the reports from the Canadian public. Following up on rising complaints of sextortion. From uh, January to, uh, to June, um, it, we'd already seen a 150% increase from the previous six months. About 90% of those targets? teenage boys. With the boys, the difference is that um, these individuals really don't have that sexual interest, but they have the, um, the drive to make money. Much of it is happening through social media platforms like Instagram and Snapchat. Earlier this year in Manitoba, 17-year-old Daniel Lintz accepted a message that appeared to be sent by a young woman on Snapchat. He was convinced to send an explicit message, then came demands for money and threats to send the picture to family and friends. His parents spoke to CBC Radio's The Current. The blackmailing began. You know, uh, he attempted to make the payments, which just makes things worse in most cases from what we've learned. And then, uh, you know, three hours after it began, it was over. He took his life that same day. A story that doesn't surprise this youth advocate who says reliance on social media is increasingly making teens vulnerable. With COVID and how the world's become more virtual, there's more pressure on people my age to kind of shift into the online world, specifically, you know, online relationships. While some of this is domestic, a lot of it is coming from overseas, raising warnings from police globally, as well as advice. Cease all contact right away and contact your local police. Those are cases that go reported yeah. How many go unreported? Yeah, we don't even have a number on what goes unreported, unfortunately. Um, those would be the youth that are trying to manage these situations on their own. Last month, the federal government restarted attempts to draft new online harms legislation, in part to help protect kids online. Legislation it's long promised, but can't say when it will deliver. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.